Hi guys, welcome to the very first video in uh, our new kitchen in Ireland. As you can tell, Noah's in the kitchen with me today and we're going to be making... What? Mixing, mixing up some waffles today. We're gonna make some waffles um, and this recipe actually comes from uh, my cookbook Home Cooked which is many many years old at this point But uh, I always go back to it when I'm making these because it's a really foolproof recipe And it's one that you can get your head around very easily. So we need to measure out our dry ingredient What how he's got he's eaten half his way through the berries that we have for this and now he's got a raspberry stuck in a whisk so This can only go well, right? Uh, let's get our flour weighed up. So what how much flour do we need? We need 225 grams. So since we've got back to Ireland, we've been doing a lot of cooking because we've been in lockdown. We're gonna mix the flour. And um, waffles have been our weekly uh, Saturday morning treat. So this is something we're very used to making. Actually, this is a really good thing if you are making the drying, oh, now I've not concentrated and now I've put in too much. 225 grams, and you're gonna need to grab a spoon. You wanna mix? Okay, we just have to get it right first. So we're gonna do 225. So uh, Noah has been helping me do the, pan the waffles every Saturday morning, right? It's our little tradition. So uh, we do waffles on a Saturday morning and we do it with yogurt and granola and berries. Now we're gonna do 50 grams. Will you pour? Okay, you try, help Papa. Okay, ooh, 50 grams. So about two tablespoons. And a good tip here is if you wanna make and kinda of get ahead, especially if you've kids and you don't wanna be doing what I'm doing right now and trying to struggle while uh, pour and concentrate on things, Oh no, that was too much sugar, was <laughs> Why is the sugar lumpy here? <laughs> right, we need to take some of the sugar. Will you take some of the sugar out? Okay, go. Take it out and we gotta put it back in. Now don't get any of the flour in. Okay, that's we're gonna be here all day long. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was trying to tell you was basically all these dry ingredients can sit pre-measured in a little jar, not too, not, not the flour, and um, you can have it. All you gotta do is add the eggs and the butter. Next ingredient is some baking powder. How many do we need? Two teaspoons? Actually, I always remember making waffles when I was a kid because it was my party piece. Um, and my, I think it was my aunt or my dad, someone brought home one of these waffle makers. And this is the very one that I used to use when I was like 12. Oh, did you put enough in? I think we need a tiny bit more. We're gonna do one more teaspoon. And that's our dry ingredients. Always when I'm doing baking recipes, I always add a little pinch of salt as well. So it was my party piece when I was growing up and after dinner, um, I'd be allowed to go and make the waffles. I was very excited about this, um, particularly because I got to eat them. Uh, so they're a great recipe. We now can mix up. So you mix this for me and Papa do the eggs. Now, next step is our wet and dry ingredients. For this, if you wanna make really light and fluffy waffles, we're gonna separate the eggs. Now, you can add them all in to your wet ingredients if you like, but this is the extra step to get them nice and fluffy. We're gonna separate our eggs, whisk the egg whites, whisk the egg yolks with some milk, and then combine the whole thing, folding really gently until we have a beautiful waffle batter. So, will I got the eggs? Okay, you mix, mix. I'm gonna whisk this. We put it over our heads. To know it. Okay. Okay, so we have our egg whites whisked up beautifully. Yeah, we're gonna put them in. We have, Noah has beautifully whisked up our dry ingredients. And now we have our wet ingredients too. So we're gonna make a little well in the center here. And then Noah, will you pour this in for me? Can you do this? Okay, what have you done with this egg whites? <laughs> you pour this one straight into the middle. Okay, whoa! Are you gonna go for it? So uh, on a Saturday morning when uh, Mammy wants a lie-in, this is the job me and me and Noah do. Now, we mix this up. Okay, so we gotta mix it up. You wanna come down? Okay, you jump down. Okay, come back to me when you're ready. With waffles in general, you wanna be really light. So, least amount of mixing possible here. Just get this batter into kind of a smooth mix so there's no pockets of flour. And once it's like this, we're gonna loosen it out with some butter and some egg whites.
So after all that, and now that Noah's left the kitchen, it's a little bit more calm, uh, we have a beautiful pancake batter. And I would suggest if you're making it, make it as you are going to cook it. Because if it sits, all that lovely air that you've created with the egg whites is going to dissipate. So you want to cook it as soon as you have the batter. Our little pancake maker is beautifully ready. As you can see, it's smoking, so it's definitely ready to rock. Just going to grab a ladle. Or a spoon. Now the great thing about this waffle mix is that you can make them up in advance. They freeze really well or you can keep them heated in a low oven until you're ready to serve. So it's a really kind of adaptable one, particularly if you're making this for a nice brunch for friends and stuff like that. So it's a very handy one. So a nice hefty ladle full in here. You kind of have to gauge how much you need to add in so that it doesn't spill out the sides but I think that's about enough just a little last bit okay so that's cooking away it's literally going to take about three or four minutes until you have a light and golden brown waffle and then you just rock through the rest of the batter and you've got waffles to go Very hot now. We want to open it up. Okay, we've got a nice stack of waffles now. And this is the last one. You're gonna have a look. What's in here? Oh! <gasps> wow! What's that? What's that? What is it? Waffle. It's a waffle. Will we take it off? Yeah. Okay, let's take it off. The beauty of this batter is that when you add the egg whites, uh, it just gives you this really lovely, light and fluffy waffle. So they're perfect now. Uh, we've used up all the batter. It's made about one, two, three, four, five, six um, waffles. So it's a handy one to have. It'll feed the family and give you a little bit more. Uh, you want a tractor? Well, we have to serve up the waffles first. So <laughs> before we talk about tractors, um, we need to serve this up with some yogurt and some berries and a little bit of granola. And that is a perfect little breakfast for the weekend. I hope you'll give it a go. Guys, I hope you liked this very first video from our new kitchen in, um, in Ireland. I'm very excited to be home. Uh, until then, we're off to see some tractors. So I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some tractors. Mmm. Right? Mmm.